Hello and welcome. In this session, we are going to learn how to compare a schema between two databases in PostgreSQL using a GUI tool, which is PG Admin 4. This is a very straightforward and very uh, simple way to compare the uh, schema between two databases, which are hosted on two different hosts, or it may be on same. So our requirement is uh, we have to compare uh, two databases having the different schema and we just wanted to compare like uh, we are not going to compare the uh, actual data. It is just the uh, the different components which are available inside that we are just going to compare that. And so in this demo, this is just a, a very straightforward demo. We have two uh, Postgre instances. One is running on my uh, system and another is on EC2 instance. And what we are going to do is we are just uh, assuming that uh, one of them is our source database and another is our target uh, uh, Postgre cluster. So what I'm going to do is just uh, select. So if you can see, I'm, I'm connected to EC2 instance, which is over here. And another is uh, a Postgre SQL, which is running on my system. So we are already connected to PG admin tool, which is a GUI tool and uh, the connections are already established. In case you wanted to create it from the beginning, just say create a server and here you fill up the details. You give the name of the connection and here in the connection you give the host name, port number, default port, uh, the database, username and the password. And if everything is fine, if you have the uh, the required information mentioned in pghb underscore uh, conf dot file, then uh, you will be able to given the access on the PG admin tool. So I have already uh, done that uh, step. And now what we are going to do is there is something called as uh, a schema diff. So we are in PG admin 4. I am connected to the two instances. Uh, one is Postgre 13 and another is uh, uh, on uh, EC2 instance. So we'll just select the schema diff. You can see there is uh, something called as uh, select source. Another is something called as select target. In select source, let's say I pick up the EC2 instance and let's pick up one of the database, which is DVD rental and on, I, I'll just pick up the public schema. Though it doesn't make sense um, comparing two different databases, uh, but uh, just to show the capability of the tool, we will uh, uh, we will select that. In the target side, we have Postgre 13 instance, and we are just going to uh, compare it with a database called as TestDB, though there is nothing inside it, but just for the demo, we are doing it. And uh, we'll pick up the uh, public schema only, and we'll just say compare. So it is going to compare all the uh, components of it, the different objects of it, and it is going to list down what is available in source and what is available in target, and it will list down in the GUI mode, and you will be able to see what are the different objects and uh, what is the difference between them. You can uh, create a generate a script as well if you wanted, or you can put some filter just to find out uh, what is there. So it is comparing the tables. So this is uh, just an easy and uh, quick way of comparing the different objects between your source and the target through the GUI mode, which is always a good option uh, in terms of the visualization. And it's going to do a lot of things itself. It is not about the data. It is just about the different structures which are available in the source and the target environment. It is 80% completed and any time it will be over. Since I have few, uh, a few objects only in my source and uh, target environment, so it is not going to uh, take much time. Though there are some other tools also available which can uh, do this kind of stuff. Maybe in uh, next demo, we will see how to use uh, uh, dBeaver to compare the objects between source and the target. But for me, it looks like a very quick and straightforward way of comparing the schema between two databases in PostgreSQL. Either you uh, check it on the same or on different host. The only thing is you should have the connection between uh, your uh, your uh, PG admin and uh, source and target instance, which in my case, I have already established it. So it is the connection names are available in uh, select source and select target. If it is not available, then you have to uh, manually supply those, but it is good to have uh, those connection strings uh, uh, preset so that it doesn't take uh, more time. 
Oh, so this should come up, uh, come up, come up. It's 90% completed and it will come anytime this should be over. Okay, this is done. So you can see that uh, schema objects, you can see the domains, identical one. Uh, this is available in uh, source only and uh, if we go about the functions then it will so, uh, show you the different functions which are available in source only so you can see on the right hand side it is source only source only source only source only so these are available in source only there you have a few sequences which are available only in the source source only source only so you can see they are available in source only and tables there are zero identical tables a different is zero source is having 13 target is having uh, zero that means there are no objects which are tables which are same in both source and target we haven't done anything so uh, the copy but just wanted to show how what is the capability of this you can see on the right hand side there is source only source only and uh, in the trigger you can see on the source only you have one trigger but there is nothing on the target side even on the target side uh, there is nothing in in types and in views also you will be able to see uh, let me click view you can see there are few view views on the source side only and that's all about it it's it's a very very quick and uh, fast way of doing the things and it really helps uh, maybe in uh, another session we will see how to how to quickly compare it using the dbware i hope this is going to help and uh, thank you